Hello, and welcome to the reading guide for section 11.3 on the subject of pressure. Section 11.3 begins on page 389 at the bottom of the page. You can see it here. In this section, you introduce pressure in a scientific context. Pressure is defined as the force per unit area. So in the context of our unit of forces and, pressure is a force applied over an area. Now, the unit of pressure is known as the Pascal, or Newton per meter squared. However, there are many other units of pressure in common use. There's the millibar, pounds per square inch is the imperial unit, as well as millimeters of mercury, which we will discuss in greater detail when we talk about air pressure. Pressure is the relevant quantity when discussing fluids in particular. Example 11.2 is a very nice example on how to calculate air pressure and converting from air pressure to force via area. Meanwhile, this figure 11.6 has a nice visual description on how force and area are connected and how for the same force you can get different pressures. Be sure to pay attention to this statement here at the bottom of the page. It's easy to lose. Pressure is exerted on all surfaces. What do we mean by that? You have some nice examples here on page 391 in the context of a tire and a swimmer. And this is all you need to read. You don't need to read uh, 11.4. We will come to that in class as an application of Newton's second law. I just want you to really understand what pressure is in terms of a force over an area and be comfortable manipulating that definition. This concludes this video.